Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today, I am going to be talking about thinking outside the box. What you see me working on here is a 22 inch copper basin. That is for a church, it's a baptismal basin. And all I'm doing here is annealing it. Now, as you can see, I'm outside. This isn't being done in a forge. And I'm hammering away here uh, quite diligently. So I'm essentially just using a weed burner and a swedge block that I had made myself out of a large section of pipe with a piece of steel built to the shape that I'm looking to take and get this bowl shape started with. And the main purpose of this video is to kind of talk about you know, thinking outside that box a little bit. Now, conventional wisdom would make you think, okay, you know, it would be best to go ahead and have some big die that's exactly the same shape as what you need, and you'll have to have it machined, and, you know, a lot of really complex tooling, things of that nature, and a super huge forge to take and work on a piece this big. And as you can see, that's frankly not the case. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of redneck engineering to engineer yourself out of a big problem. So I'd like to encourage you all, if you're thinking about getting into larger work, and that, you know, there's something that you want to be able to obtain, don't look at your lack of tooling, or maybe even lack of experience, or whatever it is, as a drawback. Look at it as a chance to learn. Look at it as a way, another great engineering opportunity. Because you might just come up with something that will really work out. Now, how, do I, how would I know that what I'm going for here would work out? Some could say, well, it was my experience or things before, and partly that. But it's through a lot of trial and error that we learn. So for you new guys that are just starting out, take this into consideration, you know, when you're trying to take and get into larger work. It is not the tooling that makes the smith. It is the smith that makes the tooling. As you can see in one of these copper pieces, it takes a lot of hammering to get these things to shape. And, you know, it's just not easy. There's no two ways about it. Even if I had the exact shape die that I was looking for in a pneumatic hammer, it would arise its own complications. So a lot of times there's no easy way out of work. As you can see, there's just literally thousands of hammer blows into a piece like this. A subscriber asked me in one of in the comment section, have I ever thought about how many tons I move a day? And that's a very interesting question. And that's a very good question indeed. Because I don't know, a bunch. Even with this small plastic mallet, there's a lot of work and effort in one of these things. But it can be done. And you don't need really expensive tooling to come out with a very beautiful item in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was encouraging. If you did, give it a thumbs up. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.